I'm going to talk about green education. Um, a good example of it in Estonia is the Green School Programme. Uh, it's a well-known environmental education programme uh, for educational institutions. Uh, the programme brings an environmentally friendly way of thinking to day-to-day -day school life and teaches people to care and value the environment and also become more environmentally conscious. Everybody can take part in the programme um, teachers, students and even parents. In Estonia, the program is managed by the Estonian Society for Nature uh, Conservation. Another example is uh, the Erasmus um, program. Uh, it's a uh, European Union's support program for education, training, youth and sport. A lot of attention is paid to social issues uh, such as environmental problems, the green revolution and also young people's participation in democratic life. Um, uh, young people can learn about environmental issues and solutions to those issues. Um, my class is also participating in the program. Um, schools have gradually started to teach more and more about environmental issues. A cross-cutting theme in a lot of learning programs is environment and sustainable development which helps students become more socially aware, uh, responsible and environmentally conscious. In our school, there's a lot of elective courses that are specifically focused on the environment. Um, and that's really cool in my opinion. Um, it's even said in our national curriculum that one of the purposes of school is to develop a person that preserves nature and lives and acts in a way that is sustainable for the environment and natural resource resources. Um, even back in 2012, there was a collection campaign for uh, pledge packaging, packaging uh, for schools. Um, its aim was to increase the environmental knowledge of students and to teach them about the importance of recycling packages. Now there's even more different programs that ad advocate for environmentally friendly lifestyles and we've definitely come a long way, uh, even though we've made a lot of progress progress there's still much left to do though um, even though easter island is in a very secluded area it has a lot of covid cases the island is relatively small and that made covid transmissions uh, greater uh, just overall areas with less resources can also be more affected by covid um, since, since there's only one hospital and not that many resources to treat patients in Easter Islands, the island had to be closed off quickly to prevent COVID cases. Tourism has also been a big factor in the spreading of COVID. A lot of the ways of uh, travel involve a lot of people being in a small cramped area, uh, for example, airplanes, uh, which helps uh, COVID and other bacteria spread even more and faster. Uh, it's the same with uh, buses and other public transport. Um, even though in some places like Japan, for example, um, masks were used in public tra transit before COVID, many people wouldn't, wouldn't have thought twice about touching the same poles and stuff in the bus as others and uh, um, uh, standing so close to everyone else. And due to COVID, people use a lot more sanitary products now though.